Hello guys, once again, and welcome back to part 11 of my Crash Nitro Kart Let's Play, where we are going to get more relics, this time from the Bearing World, so uh, wish me luck on this one. I'm not too sure how well this is going to go, but I mean, <laughs> obviously if you watched my last part, I did pretty bad, so I suppose all you could really do is wish me all the best of luck, because <laughs> this is quite a nightmare, I'm not going to lie. Especially if you use the Crash Nitro Cat, because I think the main issue is muscle memory. Because I am one of those players who do who does uh, resort to using muscle memory. So uh, I don't remember this track being too hard to get the relic on, but I mean, thinking about it, seeing as I've not played this game for quite a while, it probably is. <laughs> and this track looks so different in this version as opposed to the new remaster because I mean if you look at the new remaster this is like a volcano track kind of if you kind of get me uh, the, ro the road is no longer covered in snow which I do suppose makes sense because I suppose I didn't want that synthetic blue snow look but at the same time we didn't want the track and the uh, and everything to sort of like well not sort of like blend in but sort of like clash together so you can't really see where the ed edge of the track is and for some reason, my emulator's glitching out. I mean, when I'm recording the last part, I mean, I haven't really changed any settings. But, for some reason, the snow just seems to keep disappearing. Which I'm pretty sure shouldn't happen, and wow, I missed a crate there. But, I'm not going to go back for it, because, I mean, this is my first attempt. And I'm not too sure exactly how this is going to go. I mean, I might not even need the 10 second deduction bonus yet, I'm not too sure. And speaking of Crash Team Racing Nitro Field, I've actually very nearly 100% completed it. I mean, all I've really got to do now, well I've already 100% completed the hard adventure mode, but the only thing I've got to really do now is, I've just got to do the Platinum Relic, which is only one or two more trophies. And wow, I'm missing crates all over the place. Now, this is, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm doing pretty horrible. Now, I could have got, that bonus there if you actually think about it because all I really needed to do was just get that jump right for that crate and then I would have got the 10 second deduction bonus but I suppose it doesn't matter now because I've already messed up but I mean all I really can do is just see what the time requirement's going to be I mean hopefully it's not going to be too tight on this track because as you probably know on other tracks it can be pretty strict so Oh, don't, don't miss that 3 second crate. 3 second crates mean absolutely everything. Right, anyway, here we go. Let's have a look. Is it? What is it? Is it gold? I bet it's gold. Oh no, I got platinum. Right, that is amazing. First time I actually managed to get the platinum relic. And I didn't even have to break all the crates. I was going to go back for them two crates, but I mean, really, thinking about it, it would have been a bad choice. So I'm actually glad I didn't because I actually managed to get the relic anyway. I mean, that actually quite surprised me. Now, I do know that the burying levels do seem a little bit easier to get the, uh, the what you call them, uh, the, the relics on, the, especially if you're going for the hard ones like the platinums, but... I mean, it is quite a tricky process, I'm not going to lie, especially to get the, uh, the correct relics, but... Here we go, here we go anyway, yeah. You won a relic. <laughs> I love like sort of like synthesizing with the voices. <laughs> I find it so satisfying. Anyway, what do we have next? We're gonna do deep sea driving last, so obviously we don't want that track next. I've actually kind of forgotten where all the warp pads are. <laughs> Cause I haven't played this game for quite a while. I mean, it were only a few months ago if you think about it. But anyway, here we go with a relic race on Bearing Ruins. And now, Bearing Ruins has not really changed a lot in Crash Team Racing Nitro Field. I mean, if you don't get me wrong, it is quite a good track still. I'm not going to lie about that. It's definitely bumped up with the visual fidelity anyway. I mean, it is quite... I mean, really, the track looks pretty much identical, but with updated visuals. 
which is always something I appreciate. So I like what they did with Ensign, if you kind of get the gist on that there. And well, I actually just went and bumped into something right at the start. I keep thinking I'm playing with Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel controls. I think that's what the problem is, because they're obviously a lot more slick and responsive, like I've already mentioned many times before in this part and the last part, about the controls not being so great in this in this game. And wow, it's running really laggy in my emulator, so you're going to have to excuse me on that. Although it is running a lot better in OBS than it does with... Uh, because the recording seems to have gone quite well with OBS in the last part, so I thought I'd carry on using that. Although I am still only recording 720p, because I don't want to put too much stress on my computer. And wow, I missed a 3 second crate again. Wow. How do I keep doing that? You know what, I'm just going to restart that, I mean. To be honest, I haven't done a restart yet in this part, so I think it won't really hurt to do it. And what? I just went then and just completely messed up the perfect start. i tell you what I keep trying to do. I keep trying to do the perfect start system as well. And because obviously in Crash Team Racing Nitro Field, it works different to the start system in this game and other games like Mario Kart, where you just sort of like, uh, in Nitro Field, you sort of like keep revving it and then you get a certain power of boost but obviously it doesn't work like this in this game because obviously that mechanic was not added now as for the original CTR I'm not too sure I've never tried it and I never actually gave it a thought and I feel like I was really good at the original CTR but everybody seems to like beat me in the new remaster <laughs> now the new remaster I'm gonna say was really fun until I took it online <laughs> And well, that's lagging quite bad, but just try to ignore that. <laughs> when I say this track, the main difference I'm seeing is it seems to have more red in it in the remaster version. Although, I'm not going to lie, it does look quite beautiful with all the blue in this version and the vibrant red in this tunnel right here. Sort of like a bit like a Mystery Caves red, if you get me. And speaking of Mystery Caves, uh, the tracks in Japan have a different names apparently, uh, as uh, Jininja confirmed in his live stream, and also on some comments on my streams and in uh, on on the Discord server when we were playing online the other day. That tracks in Japan have different names, so uh, I think Mystery Caves were called was actually called something Steelworks. I actually thought that was Lava Caves, but it's actually Steelworks, which is pretty uh, which I never knew. Obviously, the Japanese will get it right because they obviously they developed the game first, so they obviously know what the names of the tracks are, the intention of the tracks are going to be at first. But anyway, final lap. At first, I thought I only had one more crate left, and I'm like, what? Has my game glitched? But, <laughs> obviously not. And I'm just doing this Let's Play, by the way, because I want to complete it, because I mean, I started it a bit ago. I hope to complete it for Crash Team Racing Nitro Field coming out, but that never happened. Right, there's a one second crate here. Oh yes, now I did not think I was going to get that. Now that is one thing I am really happy with in this game, is the wide hitboxes. Now this is cool, I mean, I actually quite like the anti-gravity in in the original Crash Nitro Kart, which is kind of a shame that they took it out. Now apparently the reason they took it out in Nitro Field was because they wanted to keep it more like the original CTR. And did I get the, yes! You see, again, I got another Platinum Relic by not even getting all the crates. <laughs> so obviously this game is just so easy. <laughs> well, the bearing world is much more. I don't know if it's because of practice, because I did practice on the bearing tracks and... And oops, I don't know if I did it at the start of the video, but I think I might have called that track again Meteor George, when it's actually Gorge. Now, I always did that. I actually called it... Uh, I actually used to call the track in Mario Kart Wii, Mushroom George. Because <laughs> they always actually thought that the word was George, not Gorge. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm such an idiot. 
so please ignore me. I don't understand why I was doing that, but <laughs> anyway, it is not George Marcus. So anyway, this leaves one more track now, which is of course uh, Deep Sea Driving, which was one of my faves in Crash Nitro Kart, and it still is. Now this track is going to feel painfully slow because, I mean, I'm so used to playing this in Nitro Field now, where you simply, you just, I got, you keep getting the sacred flame, the sacred fire, and I just keep fi flying through the track. I mean, you can complete the sac track in a matter of seconds, but not in this version, <laughs> because there's no sacred flame, but anyway, uh, wish me all the best of luck on here. Oh no, I've slowed right down. Right, that seems to be a lot there. Now this section here is very different because obviously there's like a jump section in the new Crasher Team Racing. And I actually like doing that as well. Uh, in As I'm playing this Nitro Cat Let's Play, especially after Crash Team Racing Nitro Fields come out. Comparing all of the tracks. You know, let's say to what they are now in in Nitro Field is what they are in this version because obviously the Crash Nitro Kart tracks would change the most because there was of course no uh, anti-gravity in Nitro Field anymore so now this part here doesn't feel a great deal different and now I don't want to hit those blades that's annoying This section of the track there, where's the anti gravity, even though you don't go upside down on a loop, you actually go in a spiral, it doesn't actually feel a great deal different. So we've got to go left and then we've got to go right. Now, this is pretty cool because you like jump over a monster. I think you can actually see the monster through the glass, uh, believe it or not. We'll actually look for that on the next lap, but. This is going pretty well. It's probably because Deep Sea Driving has always like, been my favourite track in Crash Nitro Kart. So, or one of my favourite tracks. I mean, this is one of the tracks I, I just immediately took to. And obviously these ramps all gave you Sacred Flame in Nitro Fuel. So, I mean, obviously I'm going to feel like I'm doing terrible in this run. But in reality I'm not. I mean, obviously you're doing these tracks a lot slower. And they do really feel slow. I mean... To be honest, I've actually always thought this game was really good. I mean, to be honest, it's very underrated, just like I've said uh, many times before. It's just that it feels really slow because it doesn't exactly have the same level of physics. And by level of physics, I don't mean different physics, I mean inferior physics, but... It's not bad. And oh yes, you can see that monster in the middle of the glass there if you look to the left. So, obviously you jump over that now, which has added a, a very interesting twist to this track in Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel, which I'm going to say is absolutely got no complaints at all of how that track looks. Can I make that jump there? Yes. Oh no, 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 no. Alright, I cannot afford to make mistakes like that. If I get this this lap, and well, what am I doing? Where am I going? What the heck? Right, I don't think I'm going to get platinum on this because this was a pretty bad run. I mean, it feels like a bad run for a start, but let's see where I get. What time is it? Oh no! Right, that was an absolutely terrible run. I did not expect that at all. Wow, I'm like over 8 seconds. <laughs> Nearly slow. You know what, I'm just going to try that again because that was pretty bad. Now, I know on next time around to be a lot faster. I mean, not hitting all of the traps will be a good start. But, I mean, I got 141, so that was probably a time I did back in 2017 or something like that. But, I mean, to be honest, I mean, there's no loss of hope. Because I am forced to get this. I know, by the way, I'm using the alternate microphone position again, which is directly in front of my face, so hopefully I do sound a little bit better. 
Although I really need to stop recording videos downstairs because as you can probably hear, my voice sounds a little bit echoey, which kind of sucks, but anyway we're going to go back into deep sea driving and we're going to try again for the Platinum. So wish me all the best luck on that one, I'm just going to check the time. You see it's 1.20am, <laughs> so maybe I'm talking a bit soft because people are in bed, but I mean not to worry too much about that. Anyway, here we go. Deep sea driving. I'd say the only criticism I have with Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled is the trying to grind coins in Nitro. I mean, to be honest, it makes it to the point where you're just like overcommitted to play the game too much. I mean, I don't want to be playing Crash Team Racing as my only game. Simply because I want to earn the coins in Nitro to unlock certain things. I mean, that's the only real criticism we've got. But the big problem I have is, when you play in Adventure Mode, you only get like 20 coins. And it costs like thousands of co per race that is. And it costs like thousands and thousands of coins. Like so expensive. Oh, I messed that up really bad, but never mind. It costs like so many coins to buy a character or a cart or a set of wheels. So that like literally gives you no incentive to replay through adventure mode. Now I don't know if they're going to change that and increase the amount of coins you earn, but unfortunately, Beanox, well not Beanox, I'm not going to blame Beanox for it because they're the developers, they probably didn't even want to do it. But, I mean, Activision? Really? Adding microtransactions to the game? Are you kidding me? I wanted to earn more Nitro coins by doing races not give me the option to pay like ten dollars or whatever currency it is around the world it's usually around ten to buy wumper coins like ten thousand wumper coins beanox i'm so activision i'm sorry that really sucks how beanox let them get away with that though i mean what i mean obviously i've got no criticism against beanox so don't mistake me for that but i mean Seriously? Why add active add microtransactions to Crash Team Racing Nitro? I mean it's not a bad thing. I mean if they were more affordable and it does give like more casual players the uh, object the op the option to purchase Wumper coins. But they don't need to be that expensive and you really need to up the amount of coins you can earn in online races. Or alternatively being Ox, you can go with a different publisher. And wow, I keep messing that up over and over again. Right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to the second lap to where we get to that point, And I think I'm going to make a cut. And I will see about... Or I'll speed the video up, actually. I mean, speeding the video up is a better choice. So anyway, we'll just do that right now. And I'll see you back there in the second lap. Okay, so here we are again. Can I just make this jump here? Well, that was close. Anyway, we decided to take the left path first because I thought it would only make sense to do that. Now, if I can just get these crates here, that's good. Yes, awesome. And wow, why do I keep hitting them blades? I mean, that seriously is screwing me over big time. <laughs> so one second crate there, yes. Oh, brilliant. Now, these are the most annoying, these two blades here because I mean, the officer's spinning in both opposite directions. Especially in Nitro Field when you're trying to keep Sacred Flame. I don't know if it's just me, but when the Platinum Time is displayed, it seems to make the game a lot easier, sort of. It seems to make it easier for me, make me feel less pressured. I mean, it is a closer time, so obviously it might make it feel like it's creeping up on you, which it kind of does. But for some reason, it seems to make you want to go faster and make you feel sort of like more confident because at least you know what the time's going to be if you kind of get me on that right so that's all the crates that i really need to get through here so all i've got to do is get them all in the next zone which is only four more crates i know i can do this 
Yes, that's a long good start. So now I've left the middle crates to last because obviously they're going to be the quickest to collect. Uh, which is a key thing really you know, on the last lap. You want to make the last lap your quickest lap. That's what I always do anyway. Well, that's what I've always done in racing games. So anyway, one more crate. Can I get it? Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Yes! Right, literally. Right. 0 0.53 seconds. Now that was another close one. Now, this has been the hardest track so far in this part, but... <laughs> hey! At least I managed to get all the Platinum Relics in there in. And it was a lot easier to do than in. But in the first world, Terror. I mean, that was a nightmare. Probably because it was a long time since I played it. Uh, Crash Nitro car that is. But, I mean, really? It's been a lot easier tonight. Let's do a quick time check just to show you what time I'm recording this. 1.25am. <laughs> wow. That is late. <laughs> Hence why I'm recording downstairs in the family room. But anyway, uh, I have done it. And I just cut him off there. He's only saying I want a uh, relic. So anyway, that's half of the platinum relics now collected. Oh, apart from hyperspace ways, but we're going to deal with that later. In probably the last part or something like that. But anyway... Uh, this has been part 11 of my Crash Team Racing Nitro Field Let's Play Everyone, where I collected all the Platinum Relics and Bearing, as you've just saw. So, of course, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed, and in the next part, we will collect all of the Platinum Relics from this world, which will probably be a lot harder in difficulty, but we'll just have to wait and see. But anyway, thanks for watching. Once again, I will see you all in part 12.